Oh, hey, the new version of Creative Cloud is out. I wonder what they added to Premiere. Hmm, all that stuff looks interesting. Wait a second, they added native DNX HD and DNX HR support? Was it any better than installing Avid's codec separately? New, interesting, random, tool, guy, films. I was skeptical of Adobe's announcement for native DNX HR support at first. After all, I've been exporting files with Avid's codec for years. What would native support do for me other than perhaps making menu navigation a little easier? I decided to set out and test that for myself by looking at render times. Before we get into the spoiler alert, pretty astounding results, I want to go over the test conditions so we're all on the same page. My computer is running an i7-4790 processor with 16GB of RAM and a 4GB GTX 960 GPU. The source files were a variety of gameplay clips from Battlefield 1, Don't judge, that's just what I had lying around. The clips were of various resolution, but all were 60 FPS. The first test was done in Premiere Pro 2015.4 using Avid's codex to add DNX HR support. After that, I uninstalled Avid's utilities, updated to Premiere Pro 2017, and restarted my system. The clips were exported at 1080p and 60 FPS with the DNX HR HQ setting. The time I'm using goes from the moment I hit the export button up until the export dialog closed out. I'm about to show the results, but you better be sitting down. So I was pretty shocked from the moment I saw the progress bar moving. That's right, the native DNX HR support in Premiere Pro is more than four times as fast as with third-party plugin support. At first I was incredibly shocked, but once I figured out why the renders were so much faster, it wasn't too much of a surprise. I monitored my system's performance using NZXT's CAM utility during the renders, and what I noticed was that during the first test, GPU performance was sitting at close to 0%. But the tests in CC2017 had my GPU regularly hitting 100% usage. That pretty obviously showed that Avid's implementation of DNxHR was CPU bound, while Adobe's implementation that they've added in CC2017 has support for GPU acceleration providing amazing performance improvements. This news will be amazing for all the Windows users out there who depend on DNxHR as their mezzanine and mastering codec in production workflows, and it just goes to show that Adobe is really listening to users when it comes to features added. You only have to look at the other awesome features added like team collaboration, VR support, internal captioning tools, and new audio effects to see that. And what did Final Cut Pro users get? Support for some touch-sensitive taskbar? Good work, Adobe. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully it was informative and you are ready to upgrade to CC 2017 and take advantage of this new GPU acceleration with DNX HR. Uh, so if that describes you, hit that like button. Uh, if this was boring and you hate everything, hit the dislike button. If you have any questions about my experience with Creative Cloud 2017, particularly with Premiere Pro, feel free to leave those questions down in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Awesome news. My short film that I made nearly a year ago and I've been talking about a ton and I've made a ton of videos about, Kansas Sunshine, is coming to the internet. I'm super excited about this and I can't wait to see all your guys' reactions to this film that I've been waiting to show you guys 